let's look at the basics of how to augment some reality. So here we have my notebook. This is going to show how to use facial feature detection using SPIGA and FaceNet. And we're going to do something really, really mature. We're going to draw eyeglasses on myself. I'm already wearing them, but what, what the heck? So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Here I am assuming that you're using CUDA. I display a warning if you're not. Some of these underlying libraries require it. You could potentially get by with MPS or CPU, but they, the, not all libraries support that. So we're going to augment reality. We're going to begin by installing SPIGA and FaceNet. Now I set this up for Colab, but this is basically about what you would be following along with if you were going to install this on your own and run it locally. If you like installing tons and tons of stuff, which I do. So here we are going to download a picture. We're downloading a picture of me from 2020. I haven't aged that much. And we're going to then basically convert it into both pill and into NumPy for CV because we're dealing with two neural networks and you know how we humans roll, everything has to have a different format. So that's what has to be supported here. So we're going to call SPIGA and we are going to then use the box that we got from the first neural network that found my face and then it's going to find the facial features with the second neural network with SPIGA. And that's what we're doing here. The bounding box says where my face is and then when we call it, it's going to find where the actual facial features are. And here you can see that there are the glasses that I had. So I'm wearing, I don't know, two glasses. I was too lazy to take a picture without my glasses on. I'm sorry. Uh, but that's, that's, what I, that's what I did there. But let's look at how we did that. So I am going to get the image and I'm going to do a deep copy on it because we're going to make some changes to the image. We're using OpenCV, computer vision, and we're going to get the landmarks and the pose. I could do something more with the pose, but I'm just not. That would help the glasses maybe change their angle as you bipped and bopped around and did, did different things. But for now, this we're keeping this relatively, relatively simple. And we're going to basically then uh, create this little function here called draw lens. You're going to pass it the canvas. So that's the NumPy array that represents the image that you're drawing right onto, the center for one of the lenses, so where your pupils are, and then the top and the side of each of those lenses as you're drawing it. And it's just drawing this ellipse, basically. I am drawing it at a zero angle, so if I did that, it's not going to work quite as, as well as maybe you would, you would want it to do. To truly support full-on 3D, you'd probably need some sort of a 3D rendering to go on with the eyeglasses, or I could do something is isomorphic, I suppose, um, just with something as simple as glasses. But that's, that's how I have this set up, at least for now. And then it, it draws it, and it draws the bridge uh, with this line here. So those, that is me with glasses. And you're simply using the landmarks. You can see that I am using the pupil landmarks. So 6, 96 and 97 are your two, are your pupils. And this is all aligned to a nice map that I gave you before, but here, here it is again. And then you're using the side and the top. So the 6, 60, 62, 68, 70. And that's really all there is to it. You can, you can go a lot more complex with this. Uh, it's not too hard at all to do Thor eyes where they glow white or green or whatever color. It's been a while since I watched Endgame. But anyway, this is, this is image augmentation. Thank you for watching this video. And if this was useful, definitely give me a like. Let me know if you'd like to see me go further with this. This is... This is completely juvenile, but fun. Uh, and and I, I know there's real, there's real applications for it. And we'll, we'll certainly see some of those as I show you uh, a medical research application for this very 
technology. So click the like button, subscribe so you don't miss anything else. Thank you very much.